Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Obviously, we've been doing this now just over a year, which seems a bit mental. Um, the channel for me is insane. I love doing it. Thank you for all the messages about the ATSG stuff and all that. Again, it's appreciated and I love doing this. I love doing the videos, man. It's like a dream. So, yeah, thank you. Because I feel like at the minute, we've get, we're getting like a really good community. As it, in terms of like a YouTube channel, we're obviously one of the baby channels, but I'd rather have an insane community in like a good banter group of us, especially on Instagram, on the Gazza's Golf Instagram. Like I love that Instagram page more than anything because I just feel like it's such a, a good place. I'd rather have that than loads of views. Obviously some channels have got that and the views, <laughs> but I'd rather have that community than like a huge 100,000 views. I'd rather have 30,000 views and the community. So yeah, thank you for everything you lot do. But today we're gonna to do a little video. I just feel like I get asked a lot of questions of being like, you play a lot or what are you working on? What are your swing thoughts, guys? Like, how have you, how have you done that? Or how have you done that? First of all, like obviously it's graft, but I wanna go through like two or three holes and really dive into what I've been working on, whether it be an iron swing, what are my swing thoughts with driver, um, putter, what am I doing with my putter, chipping, what am I doing? Just so, like, look, I'm not a pro, you know that. I'm an amateur, you're an amateur. Whether you're trying to break 100, 90, 80, I think today's video, you might get a few things that have helped me get from like 18 handicap a few years ago, down to, I think I'm 5.2 or something at the minute. I'm Now, a bad round for me would be like 80, 81, 82, maybe 83. As in like a year ago, that would be an insane round for me. So let's get on the course, play a few holes, nice chill video and talk you through exactly what it is I'm doing. And hopefully it helps you. Right, one of the biggest things, and this took me a very long time to grasp, okay? Whether you're trying to break 100, 90, 80, whatever. Course management. You can't just whip out, you can't just whip out a driver every hole. Like once you get past that mentality, that'll save your shots instantly, okay? That, I used to say, par four, driver. <laughs> Woohoo! whack! Straight out of bounds, slice it right, nice. You have to think about the club. Like here, it's a par four. It is literally, so this hole here, I could literally whack driver. It would go so far that it would actually put us in danger right, it would put us in danger left. I could literally hit a five iron, 200 yards or 180 yards, whatever, and it will leave me a nice pitching wedge in. Worst case, a nine iron. I'd hit driver or whatever, I could maybe hit it further and leave myself 80 yards in, but it's a tricky hole. So let's just hit five iron. But yeah, I think course management is just overlooked. If you're struggling with driver, hit three wood off the tee, go and get a lesson on driver. If you're struggling with three wood, don't hit it. <laughs> hit an iron, whatever. It's just course management is so crucial and you'll, if you watch the caddy video, you'll learn that. Keeping the ball in play is so important. Right, so I've got five iron. Let's say my only mentality here is, is keeping the ball in play. So first lesson obviously is definitely course management. Nice, safe five iron. Even if I hook it, even if I slice it, whatever, it's pretty much safe and I'll have some kind of second shot into the green. Bounce off the hill, perfect. In the middle, nice, perfect layup. By the way, what a shot to start the video. Baby draw. See what I mean about course management? We left ourselves 120 yards in. I'm in the best part of the green. If I've gone down there, I don't really like hitting the ball of a downhill slope. So that's a bit, of, a bit of a nightmare for me. But yeah, I don't really want to blab on too much about course management because it's self-explanatory. Just try and plan your stuff out. Right, next. Irons, so what am I working on with irons? For me, irons has been like an absolute minefield head for a long time, right? For years, I sliced the ball, years. I have to give a little shout out to Chris. Obviously, Chris worked so hard with me. That's number one. Find a coach that works with you and doesn't go, let's take you back to basics. You've got to go at the top, drop it on the inside and change your grip. It's just bore off, pal. Find a coach that works with your swing. You're never gonna get far if you try and go back to basics. Um, 
But yeah, I think I'm gonna show you one little move that I'm doing at the minute, which I think will really help a lot of people. It'll help you if you're slicing it. It'll help you if, I guess, you're hooking it like I was. So at the minute, one move on, you see from there, at the minute, the only thing I'm thinking of is kind of turning with the, turning with it. So like, obviously I turn my belly button with the, with the club, get a big turn. And then my first move is weirdly, and it, this stops me hooking it. My first move now is uh, my hip, my back kind of goes to the target. If you watch my hands, it, it makes us not think about my hands and my hands naturally drop. So if you swing up, go back and then turn, that will really help you. And you'll see that in action here. And hopefully we can plop one on the green. So it's swing up, hip in the back, kind of keep your back pointing at the target and then swing through. Let's go. Now that looked pure. Pure! Love golf! That's it. Literally swing the top, hip and back towards the target, a little push left. So you go up, little push left, power through. And that has completely transformed my swing. Honestly, give it a try. And I think it's important just to have one swing thought. So on to, like obviously in this video, or what I'm working on at the minute, that is my swing thought. Do not get me wrong. Once I start doing that well, maybe in a week or two time, something else in the whole keychain will start messing up. And the ball will start going a bit AWOL. And then you go back to your coach and be like, look, I'm doing this, but why is this happening? And he'll say, oh, you're doing that really good. However, because you're doing that, you forgot about this. It's a constant, constant graft. And don't get me wrong, if you're an amateur golfer who plays on a Saturday, you might be like, Gaz, what the hell are you talking about? But for me, this is life. <laughs> so putting, I like to use kind of a little bit of, a little bit of aim point, a little bit of feel, but I'll give you a few things that I've just like learned that really help. One thing is, obviously you have to get down and look at your putt. The amount of people I see just walk up to that and hit the ball is mental. So I'm, I get down, it looks, looks slightly left to right, but while your playing partners are playing, you've got plenty of time to check it. And what I do here is you're just trying to check and in your feet, is there more weight in this foot? Are they balanced? There's nothing happening there's slightly a bit of weight in that foot. So that's confirming that it's left, I mean, right or left. And this is a key, always look at it from the opposite side of the hole, because it always looks so different. And what that's done to me is just confirmed what my feet were saying. It is just slightly, slightly left to right. Also as well, a lot of people judge of these balls, right? The, the striped toe response from Taylor made, but I tell you what, having one little single black line when you're looking at it can be pretty daunting. Having a big, thick, bright yellow, orange, red, blue, there's loads of colors, just makes it that little bit easier in the eye. So you put the, you close your, you close one eye, and you put that side of the putter, I'll show you on here actually. So in, when I'm holding it up, I'm putting that side of the putter like that. I'm gonna put that side of the putter over that line. That confirms exactly where I'm aiming. So let's check, put that side of the line that is aiming about one golf ball to the left. Remember, my foot said it, we thought it was going left. We've now lined it up. I misread it. It's absolutely flying and it's just gone right. But you get the idea. In for par. Yeah, I think putting, even though I did all that, I still raced it past three foot. That just proves, and I even try to gauge the pace by doing it a few times. But putting, I think, secretly, is the key to everyone. It's the easiest way to shave shots off your game. Go and get a putter fitting, a proper putter fitter um, on a Sam Lab um, and all that. I've been for one recently. Literally, they can check the loft, the live, your putter, check your putting stroke. They can check if this style of putter is good for me. It actually is for my putting stroke. Honestly, get a putter fitting. You get a driver fitting, but you use your putter three times more in a round than your driver. But no one gets fitted for a putter. Honestly, go and get a putter fitted. Get a putter lesson. 
In fact, make, make putting lessons your priority over a swing lesson because it'll help you more. I feel like if you can eliminate three puts, you're gonna laugh. Okay, so like we said, course management, par three, downwind, pins at the front, could go long, land it on the green. Um, to be fair, it's, I've got a nine iron here. It's actually probably a wedge. Par threes, everyone thinks are easy. Par threes are actually quite hard. So let's just get on there. Again, let's do the back thing. Get down there, let's do a little bit of chipping. Yep, just rolling on to the back edge of the green. Might have a little chip, but again, good strike. We're down there. Hopefully, two putt par. Let's go. Right, I'm actually pleased that we've just missed the green um, left. Other thing is expectation, right? You're a 15 handicapper, 10 handicapper, five handicapper. That is at 160 yard downhill with the wind behind you shot into a green that is literally the pins there it's about 30 foot wide right that to me is a good shot if you look at tour average from this distance they're not hitting the green either so just remember your handicap remember your expectation and be happy where you are right next chipping i think chipping for me has, has been a massive thing i've been working on i'm going to show you a little tip because chipping is all all about kind of You'll see Jason Day on Instagram or whatever, they're always like, everything just stays connected. Unless you're trying to get a bit more advanced and obviously cocking the hands and like putting the ball in the air. But for a general bump and run, this is kind of what I, obviously I do. You kind of, everything kind of stays in a triangle. Everything kind of stays connected and it's just a rock back and forwards. It's literally rock back and forwards and you should be able to just keep that club in your belt buckle there. That's a good little feel. You'll see a lot of people doing the towel drill. So they get the towel and they put it under their arms, try to get a picture of like Jason Day or someone doing it now. You put a towel and that feeling is to your whole body and stays connected and they, they practice it with a towel. But here's a little trick that you can do on the course. You might see me doing this, it'll make sense now. So basically when you set up with the ball, get set up, you've seen your shot. I want to be landing this halfway, it's going to roll out. And then obviously my feet are normally about a club, clubbing a bit apart just for these kind of shots, grip down a little bit. This is the trick. Right, take a t-shirt, nip it under your armpits, okay? That's like a towel. Then all you gotta do is not let that t-shirt drop out and just give it a turn. And you'll see how nice it comes out. It's roll, oh my God, go in. For the sake of the video, go in, please. And that's there, look, and I finished here. I'm all connected. And then you let your t-shirt out perfectly legal move let's talk a little bit about driver slicing stuff like that right you have to one get a lesson if something your coach is telling you doesn't feel right and doesn't work and you really struggle with it even though you try tell them if your coach can't give you another feel i'll say to chris he'll say guys i need you to weaken or strengthen your grip that feels weird right if you don't want to do that then why don't you do this and i'll be like oh i like that have to find someone that can do that for you so also like I say, go in the driving range and if you're slicing the ball, obviously you come over the top. A good thing is putting something on the outside of your ball. I used to do it with um, a golf club or tees. So you can even just put tees down there. Anything outside the ball to stop you coming in or out is really good. But yeah, driver for me at the minute is exactly the same as what I was saying. So driver at the minute for me is a swing up first move is hip and back to the target goes that way and you see the club drops down itself so that'll help you if you slice it so i go up to the top to the back and then literally and then just turn swing through bash that's all i'm thinking back to the target as long as possible and swing through that is my swing thought at the minute you might have a different one but whatever it is one swing thought on the course Straight down the middle. Bash. And that is really helping me get rid of a hook. It's really helping me with my over the top. And again, that one swing four at the top of my swing is just back to target. My arm's coming here. Now I'll just swing through. It's really, really helping me that. But next thing I want to talk about is this is a par five, so layups. This hole is 300 yards in, right? I've got 300 yards left. So obviously I can't, I'm not going to hit that. I'm not going to get three wood out. I'm not going to get frigging and try and get as close as I possibly can. 
Because maybe I don't like an 85 yard shot. Maybe I hate a fiddly 75 yard shot. But one shot, for some reason, is one of my favorite yardages is 105. It's a three quarter, 50 degree, and I love it. So I've got to think, I've got 300 yards to the pin. So I want to leave myself, so I want to hit like a, anything around 200 yards would be nice. So it's sitting down a little bit. I'm going to try and get a five iron on it. Five iron, get it in the fairway, roll out. And let's just see if I can leave myself my favorite yardage. That is one of the best golf shots I've, I've ever hit. Another amateur thing is, do not aim at that flag. Literally the hill on the left, if you miss left, you're screwed. If you push it right, you're all right, but we don't want to be even risking that. I'm going to aim between the trees, right at the flag, and we're going to go straight at the middle of the green. Middle of the green is safe between the two things. It's gone long, but middle of the green, and we're putting. Go in, go in for the video, go in for the video, go in for the video. What are you lying? Wow. Let's just go through it. Course management, think about what you're hitting. Don't just grab driver on every hole. Irons have one feel for the course, get a good coach. Anything around the green, use this until you get used to how that feels. Really stay connected with your body. Honestly, this is the best thing I could ever tell anyone. Do it at the range, do it at the chip area. Practice with your t-shirt tucked under. It'll help you loads. Par fives, think about what you're doing on layups manage your expectations and driver get a good coach again use your drills practice your drills and just graft it out it's an amazing sport i love it a bit as you know but yeah hopefully that helps you as much as it's helped me i'll see you soon